Hi guys, Lord of Audits here. Thanks for coming in and stopping by. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and I have a, an IOPC update for you. Um, former Humberside Police Officer dismissed after IOPC investigation. So let's jump into this. A former Humberside detective who was found to have repeatedly failed to properly investigate reports of crime following an independent office for police conduct investigation into six of his cases has been barred from working as a police officer again. Gross misconduct was found proven against former PC Philip sorry, former DC Philip Payton at a hearing that concluded yesterday the twenty second of March. The panel ruled he would have been dismissed without notice had he not already resigned. Our investigation looked at the handling of six investigations he led between 2015 and 2017, all involving vulnerable complainants and victims. DC Payton, spelled P-A-Y-T-O-N, provided dishonest updates to families and colleagues missed significant evidential opportunities and recorded crime logs incorrectly while investigating sex sexual assault and rape allegations. His mistakes meant investigators stalled in several cases and it was only after a different detective was appointed to take charge that perpetrators were prosecuted. On one investigation, DC Payton arranged for officers to search the home of a suspected rapist where a number of electronic items are taken away as evidence. Despite being made aware that at least one of the devices appeared to contain traces of indecent images of children, DC Paintant authorised for much of the property to be returned. He then failed to disclose the fact to his supervisors. While in charge of an investigation into money stolen by a woman from her vulnerable parents, DC Payton failed to process and manage case material adequately on pro or progress relevant lines of inquiry. He also failed to submit files to the CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service, to review. DC Payton failed to process and manage case material or submit files to the CPS in a sexual abuse investigation. On that occasion, he also failed to update the victim that the investigation in both cases, it was only after other detectives were appointed to lead the investigations, after Humberside Police became aware of the concerns about his competence, that the offenders were charged and prosecuted. During interviews with investigators, DC Payton provided no comment when asked about his actions. In a prepared statement, he stated how he felt unsupported and overworked, but evidence showed he was applying for additional responsibilities at the time and supervisors had met with him to try and help manage any workload problems. Humberside Police referred five of the investigations in May 2017 after a sergeant identified concerns citing a lack of action and ineffective investigation. We received a sixth referral from the force in September 2017 following a complaint from a member of the public. Our investigation concluded in May 2020 and we shared our findings with the force and the complainants. We also referred the case to the CPS to consider charges relating to distribution of indecent images of a child. After considering the case, the CPS decided not to authorise any charges. At the two-day hearing, former DC Payton was found to have breached the police standards of professional behaviour relating to duties and responsibilities, authority, respect and courtesy, and honesty and integrity. He resigned from the force earlier this month. IOPC Regional Director Miranda Biddle said DC Paynton's handling of these investigations fell so far below the standards of what members of the public are entitled to expect and his failures have had a devastating impact on the families involved. 
Had it not been for the actions of his colleagues in identifying and rectifying the litany of mistakes, his incompetence might have resulted in serious crimes going unpunished. He has at no point taken responsibility for his extremely poor performance and this kind of response severely erodes trust and confidence in the police and anyone who believes or behaves in such a way can have no place in policing. We have been assured that Humberside Police have subsequently undertaken an integral review and implemented additional supervision approaches to ensure that concerns are flagged and addressed to prevent such failures reoccurring. My thoughts go out to all those who have been affected during the course of these investigations and I thank the newly assigned detectives on some of these investigations who have demonstrated a commitment to securing justice for the families. Former DC Payton will now be added onto the National College of Policing's barred list which prohibits him from working within the police. <coughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, another officer, not uh, worthy of his job, at least he's resigned. Um, Lord of Audits, please like, share and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one. Oh and don't forget to smash that bell end icon. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us.